Hi everybody, I'm coming to you guys, I believe it's March 1st, 2019. Uh, I'm just coming to you to let you know that you guys can get both a motorcycle driving license and a car driving license in Thailand on a visa um, exemption. I came in on a 30 day visa exemption. Um, I have got it extended to 60 days and I do have an international driver's license which is one of the requirements if you don't want to take a driving test and you don't want to take the written test. Uh, what you will require is your um, passport, um, a citizenship, sorry, not a citizenship, a certificate of residency, which just shows that you do have an address here. So um, any hotel uh, guest house is actually required by law to um, file uh, TM30. And then you go to the third floor of immigration and you get your TM30. Then you take it to the second floor and you request a certificate of residence. And it takes about a week to get that back. Um, just for a note, I will do another video about the uh, residency certificate. But if you do intend to get a residency certificate, but you also intend to extend your visa, um, don't do like I did. Don't get the residence certificate or start the process and then extend your visa after because they will make you come back into the office and give them another copy of your passport. So the other thing that you'll need is a certificate of health. You can get that at any of the hospitals. Try not to wait till the day of the actual day that you're going to the driver's license center like I did because that means you'll have to go to a hospital and there isn't one close by. Even though they say on the internet there's things close by, um, the closest one is up the street at the Tesco and if you're driving a motorcycle you'll have to do a few U-turns and it's not the greatest place to do it. So um, the certificate of health was 150 baht for me. I've heard it can be uh, give or take a few 100 baht from that. So you can get it for as little as 50 baht to as much as probably 300 baht um, to get the certificate of health. Mine costs 150 so hopefully yours does as well. Um, you'll also need, uh, if you're getting both a driver's license for car and a driver's license for motorcycle, you will need a photocopy of your certificate of health. You'll need the one um, uh, residence certificate, but you'll need a copy of it as well for the second driver's license. You'll need two full sets of copies of your passport and you'll need a copy of the inside page and the front cover, so you'll need actually two copies of your international driver's license, one for the motorcycle and one for the um, car driver's license. Um, once you take all of that stuff in, um, you'll be given a number, you'll go to the first desk, um, they will then give you another number, a card, that uh, they call up a full group, and you'll do um, a colorblind test, You'll also then do a speed test where you're driving and the, they'll show a green light. As soon as the light turns red, you have to uh, brake within a timely manner. Um, if you pass both the colorblind test and the speed test, you'll then go and watch uh, an hour long video um, where they tell you the rules of the road. Um, once you complete that video, you'll go back out and wait again. Um, you'll pay, then you'll go back into the back and you'll wait again to get your picture taken. You wait again and you pay an additional 20 baht for the cards and then once you uh, have paid you'll get your cards on the spot and for me this process was a full day process it's not something you can do in a half day I have heard if you come early and I did come early we were here at 9 but uh, we did have to leave to go and get the um, health certificate but you may be able to do this in a half day but I was unable to do that so uh, that's my video for today. I hope this helps someone. Talk to you later. Bye.